remember, the police department does not stop its investigation the night of the incident. And if you happen to escape apprehension, we will continue to look for you. Many Omaha Police Chief Todd Schmatterer's message to a suspect still on the loose and armed. OPD will not stop looking for the shooters involved in a violent weekend in Omaha. Six shootings, five people are dead, two others hanging on for dear life. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Megan Matthews. And I'm Justin Pizzera. We now know there were five shootings yesterday in South Omaha, all just minutes and blocks apart. The chaos and 911 calls started to pour in Saturday afternoon. Here's the time, timeline of the deadly, deadly shooting spree. At 2.03 p.m., the mayhem began. A 911 call comes in for a shooting at an apartment complex at 3104 Haskell Street. The shooter critically injures a 31-year-old man. Police believe the shooter and the victim are somehow connected. 20 minutes later, another 911 call. This time, officers are sent to South 33rd Street, where a 46-year-old victim was critically injured. Then, just four minutes later, police were dispatched to 34th and F. A 25-year-old man doing yard work shot and killed at random. 60 seconds later, an OPD officer and the shooter exchange in a gun battle at Dolman and F Street. The suspect shot and killed. And during the aftermath, all of the another shooting, a 25-year-old man found dead on the ground in an alley on E Street. Well, Chief Schmatter says he believes the shooter was on a mission and was not going to stop. When he addressed the violence this morning, he thanked the police officer who put a stop to it all. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Rebecca Ray is live from police headquarters with that part of the story. Becky. Yes, during yesterday's deadly gun spree, witnesses followed the gunman and helped police track him down. And it's heroic acts like these that give Police Chief Todd Schmatterer confidence violent offenders will be caught. This is absolutely unacceptable. 24 hours after a suspected gunman murdered two people and injured two others, Omaha Police Chief Todd Schmatterer addresses the violence in Omaha. For the very small percentage of our population that wants to shoot at others and resort to violence. Remember that the Omaha Police Department does not stop its investigation. The total homicides in Omaha so far this year, 19. Four are within the last 24 hours. So I want that to be on every shooter's mind that we will not stop looking if you happen to escape apprehension. During a dramatic gun battle, a 13-year veteran, Omaha police officer Coral Walker fired shots at the unidentified gunmen. When additional officers arrived, they demanded the suspect put down his gun. That's when the shooter pointed his weapon Walker's way, and Walker shot him again. Some negative publicity has come the Omaha Police Department's way in recent months, so it is easy to lose sight of the fact that my officers put their lives on the line literally every day. Chief Schmatterer praises the brave officers responsible for ending the rampage. He believes the gunman would have continued to murder innocent people. Had it not been for the heroic actions of Officer Walker, I believe this suspect would have continued his indiscriminate shooting spree and other innocent lives would have been lost. Officer Coral Walker is on administrative paid leave. The homicide detectives and the officer involved shooting squad are investigating these shootings. Police are still searching for the su second suspect. Reporting live at police headquarters, Rebecca Ray, KMTV Action 3 News. Mayor Jean Stothard also released a statement on yesterday's shootings. She says Saturday, innocent citizens lost their lives in a 30-minute shooting spree in South Omaha. I offer my sympathy to the victims and their families and my appreciation to Omaha police officers, particularly Officer Coral Walker and the citizens who demonstrated heroic actions in the face of a life-threatening situation. And the tragedy didn't stop.